win with uh, Corey vs. Metal Gross for Circle Jerk Tour semi-finals and my computer is lagging as fuck at the moment. This kind of looks like a team Obi would use, that one that Metal Gross has. No, Corey is using Trick Room, which is pretty interesting, because I recorded my man BTB versus Corey in an earlier round of this tournament, and BTB used this team against him, I think. And yeah, I probably have to close my Photoshop because this is lagging. Merrick is just picking up some kills. He has the uh, Rock Head, so it doesn't take recoil on Flare Blitz. But the Trick Room ends, so he's forced out into his um, Cresselia here. Makes a risky play, stays in on these Stealth Rocks. Like. Usually you would go Cresselia if you break the off quick there, but he made that risky play, got it correct. I'm sorry for the lag, I can't do anything about it, because if I close it, the game is already going to be over probably. Goes to Kellyo knowing that he would probably go Cresselia, doubles into Amoongus. Which I assume he's just going to get up a Spore here, and then he gonna, he's going to hope for a lot of sleep turns. Oh yeah, Cory earlier, he probably let off with a Yuxi, but I didn't see the turns. He probably let over the Yuxi and set up the rocks and then he like got up a trick room and the memento, which is what I s that's what I assume how he played this. He goes to Metal Gross as the Cresselia gets a first turn wake, which is a bit annoying for Metal Gross. Goes hard in the crawl on predicting a medium mash. Which is probably what he's gonna go for, yeah exactly. This leg is really annoying. That's a crit, it doesn't even do that much because it's max HP current. Metal Gross showing why it's broken, getting that attack boost, but it's scared out by knockoff here. He's gonna sack off his Kellyo. This is life up Crawdon. So this is gonna be a really quick game, which is kinda cool. Some some change, like change up. Like usually these games take a bit longer. But this is some fast paced stuff. Uh, he can go among us, should be able to live a hit. Cause it is at 88 after rocks. Yeah. Cursalia can probably live here too, but like the thing is Among Us is Yeah Among Us is free to go for Spore here. But let me see. If, if he goes Among Us, I don't know if Cory would save this Crawdon. Damn it, I hated to being too late to a game man, I wanted to record from the start. But he decides to go Celestina instead of Among Us, which is interesting. He lives on 3%, which makes me think that he's with Death Celestina, because that was way too close. Um, I assume Curry is going to switch out here on the obvious Protect. And if he does it, goes for Double Leech, yeah, that's a really good play. But he just does just go for Protect. I was pretty sure that Curry would not stay in there. The Heavy Sim doesn't do too much, because it's a max HP Majorna. He switches out, not wanting to give the Magirna, Magirna the boost. He goes for the Z-move, which is probably electric move. Yeah, Magina is Giga World Havoc. This is the arm team made by Sorry. Unless he changed some sets. That's a free uh, Spore. If he breaks this, he he's trying to put the Crown to sleep as sleep for her. That way he cannot put anything else to sleep, which is a really good play by Cory. Could've picked that and gone for Giga Drain. But yeah, he's gonna protect you to waste the last turn of pr of um, Trick Room as he goes into m more while I would assume that he would either go for SD, Deprit in the Protract, or switch out, and he switched out into Mawal. And now he's just gonna go for Sucker Punch. I, he doesn't go for Sucker Punch. I mean, he, he took the Flamethrower well, but like, I don't know if he had to take that damage. I feel like he could have suckered there, but... It, like, Mawal still ate it up, obviously. But if Mother was at full, it might have lifted the T-Bill from Coco if it didn't take took that if it didn't take that flamethrower, like So now it's gonna trick room. Uh, we will see if this is taunt Coco as we see Z move. We'll see if this is a Giga Old Havoc or Trink oh Trinkle Tackle. That did Jack, that did nothing. I thought it was um the Guardian of Alola or the Giga Old Havoc, but it was a Twinkle Tackle. Which you don't really see on Tapu Coco. Cause it's, this guy asks why is that a neutral Z-move dealing 40? Um, cause it's only a Dazzling Gleam. Coco is kinda weak and it's like, it's a Cresselia. <laughs> but yeah, Cory can just bring in this Amarok and click Flabbit three times and win the game, so. Paid off to bring Trick Room for him, pretty cool to see him pick up the win. He's in my Discord shit, you guys can join, I'll leave the link down below. 
It was kind of dead at first, but we're gonna slowly, we're slowly coming to life. But yeah, this um, Trick Room team showing that it's uh, still viable in this matter, and we'll see if Maragos gets banned. But like, Marag, Flabbit is a strong base power move. I'm not sure if it was if Maragos would be able to live a Shadow Bone, but like Flabbit kills it for sure, and. I want to. Uh, I'll, I'll pause it real quick. Um, and this is some yeah semi-finals. The winner plays with either Blunder's team or what's the opposing team that Blunder's facing? This is like the opposing team. I think there's like um, there's players like John, aka Brofist, on the opposing team. Is what I meant to say. But yeah, we are here on the um, threat for Circle Jerk to semi-finals. And we see that uh, Cory picked up the the win over Metal Grouse, and yeah, his team is. I don't know if anyone else of them played yet. I don't want to scroll down and spoil any games, because I know Blunder played already with Sabella, and I don't want to spoil that game. I will record the replay if I find it. And the song with Poik is interesting. Um, yeah, big shoutouts to Poik. Um, he might do a guest upload in the future for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested in Poing doing a guest upload of one of his uh, games. Uh, I'll let him decide like which game he finds the most interesting or which is like really well played by both players or like a close game that was like probably what is best for much like to watch for you guys. I don't know why I can't talk today, good lord. Um, yeah, they, they, yeah, that's so powerful team. Look at this, anti John. Oh, John is not at the oppose. John is not the, the opposing team. John is at Blunder's team. I thought it was at the other team. My, okay, my bad. I mixed it up. But yeah, FTDK Poik Blunder. Like this is on paper. This sounds like a really good game. This song versus Poik because both were in, P in SPL, and they have been doing pretty decent. Oh, super like. Super well even. Um, yeah, so this is best of five. Whoever wins three first makes it to finals. And yeah, if this is the only game, um, two more people that is played yet, yeah, two more people from Curry's team have to win to bring him to finals. Yeah, Curry's French I just found out. Which is interesting. Like that someone was talking Frenchy in this game, so That's uh, cool to see someone at the same time zone as me. It's like easy to record the games for me, because uh, other than like SPL or World Cup, which uh, they play like orientated on EST times most of the time, and I'll be have to stay up to like late at night to record those. But yeah, I can tell you guys that the content is gonna be coming wild. Um, even though this might go up after some of the OEPL games, I'm not really sure when this will go up, depending on how many other videos I record today. But at the point I record this, I already have recorded um, two more OUPL games. In one video, I even go over a replay of another one. So it's one live game and one replay, two in one. And stay tuned for that I'll, if it's not up before this one. And I'll catch you guys later. Hope you have a fantastic day. And Dokwich signing out.